Hello. Hi, is that Paul? It is. Hello, Paul. It's Jason Curtis speaking from South Africa. Hi there, Jason. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Thanks. It's a, <clears throat> dare I say it, it's a, it's, a, it's a great pleasure to speak to you. Okay. Um, I've been a, um, I'm sure you'll probably hear this on all the interviews, but now I have been a fan for more years than I care to remember. Well, we've been around more years than I care to remember. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, are, are, are you ready to go with the interview? Yes, of course. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, a bit of an obvious one. Um, what What is it like to be back in the incantation of the Art of Noise? Oh, the Art of Noise is, is, is one of the few groups that really um, I would want to be in, really, because they're such an unusual collection of people. Yes. Whatever the combination of talents is in the Art of Noise, you're always assured of working with interesting people. And, and this, this four piece, this particular um, version of the Art of Noise, particularly so. Mm. Um, you know, with Anne Dudley and Trevor and Lowell Cream, it's, uh, it, you know, it's not, it, it, Art of Noise have never been and hopefully never will be an ordinary type of group simply uh, in terms of their, the makeup of the beast. You know, mm. Mm. They've always meant to, meant to be um, a different kind of group, the kind of way you always thought groups would be in the future, mm. I suppose, where we are, which is made up of not necessarily, you know, the conventional drum, bass, guitar, vocal or whatever, but mm. a, a collection of intelligences and imaginations. And, mm. and this Art of Noise is certainly, you know, a, 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 an extreme example of that. You know, we're four very different people who do lots of different things outside the art of noise and bring mm. that into the group so it's, 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 it's really exciting mm. because I mean um, you know going back and you know obviously the band uh, or the group's history because um, it's, a, it's a case of um, do you, would you say that uh, you know that what you're doing now um, and even you know uh, all the stuff that you've done previously mm -hmm. would it would you say that it, it would translate easier now to say a, a wider audience than say it did when it first came out? Well certainly when we first started and we were, you know, for the sake of uh, simplification, a, a larger instrumental group with no lead singer mm. who didn't want to appear in their pictures and videos, it mm. was quite, quite an avant-garde thing to want to do mm. and no one could, could really understand mm. all of that. But over the year, over the last 15 or so years, with the you know the the, the the rise of certainly dance music and other experimental music, it's become more a, a normal thing that uh, a collective isn't seen necessarily, and their videos are slightly more sort of entertaining without necessarily having to have the band in, and you can't quite work out where the music's come from, what kind of style the music is. So certainly, you know, there's there's there's, there's lots of things that happen in the last 15 years to uh, they're in a similar spirit to Art of Noise. Yes, what you could so, say. Mm. Which is good, you know, it's how I always thought groups would be, you know, you know, your Daft Punks and your Underworld, mm. and your, your, you know, that, that Apex mm. Twin or whatever, where you can have a lot of fun with the possibilities of what it is to be a pop group. Yes. Uh, so certainly a lot of things have come, uh, come along, not necessarily influenced by us, but simply that's yeah, a similar spirit. Mm. That makes us, you know, well, it was one of the reasons we decided to have a, another play, so to speak, because, mm. uh, uh, you know, we were looking around and seeing the things that, that, that we, we shared that spirit and, and that strange, so, sort of making pop music as, uh, as an unexpected thing, mm. as opposed to, to trying to follow formula. You know? Yes, yes, I mean, as much as you say you, um, that, you, that you weren't responsible for that, um, I certainly think that, uh, you know what what you were doing was um, you know even in the 80s was probably perceived by many as being ambitious although it was critically acclaimed I think in, in, in you know in, in, in the you know, by, by I think the vast media um, that uh, were covering it but um, I do think that uh, you know it's a, it's a case of that as you said the market has now um, sort of well grown, grown up and, and gotten used to the fact that what you are doing is actually quite acceptable. Well, at least you can do it, you know, back, yeah. back when we started, believe it or not, you know, if you didn't put yourself in a video, no one would play it. Yes, yeah. It seems absurd now because, you know, you know, really you're making an entertainment, you're making almost an advertisement for your music. True. And so it was really funny that, um, you know, people in what is meant to be a rebellious world yes. would get so, you know, uptight. Yeah. Now, there's still traces of that around, but you can be, you can, you can at least play with, the, 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 you know, the, the knowledge that at least there won't be too many kind of carpings about what you're doing, you know. Yeah, but um, my perception of it is that that, that was never, that was never the idea. Although I think a lot of people would would have um, would have said that maybe you were doing you were you were being so different or being so uh, sort of left of centre to what was happening sort of in the mainstream that uh, that was you know why you got the attention 
that you, you know, well, not why you got the attention, but that you did it with an agenda, which I don't think it was purely, you know, my perception of it is that you did it because that was what you were, that was what you wanted to achieve. Well, absolutely, because, you know, because of the, uh, the Firelight computer, where, 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 where the music was made in the early 80s, mm. was, was so new, and there were so many new possibilities, it seemed only right, really, that, that the way the group was, and how it looked, and how it felt, was also mm. new. Mm. Uh, because there were seen so many possibilities of what a pop group could be in the mm. early 80s, you mm. know, and it seemed to be we were going into the future, mm. and that the future was, you know, got to be full of kind of science fiction, electronic pop groups, mm. and that the guitar would die. Mm. And so very much we did it, because we were just excited about designing a new kind of pop group, mm. rather than thinking that that was necessarily, uh, you know, a commercial decision or, you know, we were being controversial for the sake of it. Yes. We were just designing a group, uh, a new kind of group from scratch, really, mm. you know. Mm. Now, I mean, over the years, you've, you've done a lot of uh, very different, um, well, you, you know, you've involved very, uh, a, a great many um, personalities and musicians. What is it that actually attracts you to a project? I mean, Debussy being, you know, the obvious one, you know, now. But I mean, what makes you all sort of get together and think, okay, we're going to tackle this one? Well, with the, with the Debussy one in, in particular, um, you know, he, he, the Art of Noise has sort of uh, gone to sleep in many senses mm. uh, over the years. I mean, you know, we like to say even when there are no members in the group, the mm. Art of Noise still exists. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it's a conceptual idea, and, yeah. and, and we, we're often talking about plans, and, 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 you know, to be honest, you know, it, it sounds obvious in one sense, but then in another sense it's not. We just couldn't really resist the idea of not putting something out in 1999. <laughs> and we were talking about a number of ideas, you know, um, and when the Debussy one came up, um, basically, first of all, because, you know, we just loved his music, and, uh, and Dudley and Trevor Horn had... Um, uh, uh, worked on a Mark Ullman song and had, had used some Debussy on it. The more we thought about Debussy and the idea that, there was all, all sorts of reasons, we loved the idea that he was at the, at the turn of his own century. Yes, I can. And there were all sorts of technological and aesthetic and uh, industrial revolutions going on around him. Mm. And, he, and his music um, kind of uh, broke the, the rules. You know, mm. he was a rebel in his own day and yes. influenced 20th century music. Mm. And the more we thought about it, uh, you know, you know we, 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 we like to think of ourselves as a group about the future and uh, look forward to the future. Mm. We thought it was a really fascinating idea to go back a hundred years mm. to create uh, a music in the spirit of, of, of another music that was all about looking forward, about a kind of apprehension about what the next century would bring, mm. uh, awareness if you like. Mm. Mm. And you know, instead of going back like 22 years or something, as mm. a lot of pop groups do, to the small faces or something, True. we thought it'd be fabulous to, to actually go back to a musician who, you know, you can hear his influence and all, all the great jazz, the Gil Evans and the Miles Davis. Mm. You know, for me, I can hear it uh, in the tender music of like the Cocktail Twins of the Carpet. Yes, yes. Uh, and in a funny sort of way, we, we you know, uh, for, for no good reason and yet every good reason, we wanted to find a way in an out of noise way to summarize 20th century music mm. and by going through Debussy who mm. changed the rules of music to help 20th century music be what it is mm. we found a great way to, to kind of create that summary mm -hmm. so it's not really a, you know an album of Debussy music as such no, no. you know it, 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 we use Debussy as a metaphor yes yeah you know, for, for the art of noise for, mm. the, for the idea of making an album for mm. the idea of, of of what it is to, to make something that's, that's, that's different mm. for, for the idea of being you know a bunch of idealists yes. in the world, you know? yes so it's it's not a tribute album, it's, it's very much the Debussy is a metaphor. Yes, yeah. yeah. And I mean, uh, what what I actually liked about it was, you know, w when I actually um, got the album, I put it on, um, and I wasn't expecting, you know, I wasn't expecting of, of really anything, because, mm. you know, I, I think, you know, in, in knowing the band, you you know, you, you're continually surprised with what you come up with, but you didn't, um, you didn't kill the source in the sense that you radically actually changed anything you or you almost just added added on to it you didn't sort of have this very obvious 90s or very you know post-millennium sort of feel to it, which you could have you could have done um you know it was it was actually very very subtle and almost respectful well, yeah, I know what you mean. We could have torn it apart in a mm. sort of John Zorn type way. Yes. But, but in, in a sense, what we, we what we thought was 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 more radical in a funny sort of way was to to, to, to be beautiful, mm. to be about beauty. Mm. You know, we could have done a dirt chamber sessions or something. Yes. Because in a way, you know, but but, but we've done that. You know, we did that yes. kind of fifteen years ago, where yes. the technology was was on the view, so to speak. Yes. And even though this is a very technologically based record, we thought it was more interesting and, and more brave in a way to actually hide the technology mm. and make it a very human record mm. and make it very much about beauty because it seemed to be that uh, 
you know, a, a reticence, if you like. Mm. It seemed more an honest soundtrack to, to, to the times than, than the, the, the clatter and the noise. Mm. And there's a hell of a lot of that in the world. Yeah. And, and we didn't want to join in. You know, mm. we wanted to find another way mm. to, to create a soundtrack to the, mm. to the turn of the century, mm. you know. But, I mean, did it make it more difficult to actually achieve that? To hide the technology? Yes. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it, it's also something you're not necessarily going to get a lot of respect for because people, by the very nature of it, don't know you've done that. Yes. Because they're not really sure how modern records are made. Yes. But, you know, the, 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 the idea really was to make a very spiritual and a very intoxicating record using technology that mm. sounded completely human. Mm, mm. And obviously, you know, at the, at the heart of it is, is Anne's piano. Mm, mm. And we like to say that the three main, you know, elements in the record are Anne's piano, uh, the Pro Tools uh, computer equipment and, and our brains, you know. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to do that so that what was on display, you know, we wanted to control technology, not have the technology control us, you know. Mm -hmm. We wanted to use technology to liberate our imaginations. You mm -hmm. know? And I mean, uh, there I say it, but a, a case of, uh, in a way, um, it's a more mature side of, uh, you know, of the group that um, we perhaps haven't seen. Well, but, well, not least because we are we are a bit older. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? It's, yes. You know, it would have been very dishonest if we'd have tried to be, you know, the aging swingers. Yes. We yes. wanted to make an intelligent record that's based on our own experience of, of playing and loving music. Mm. So it seems much more honest than, than coming back and being the, you know, the uh, the noisy comedians. Yes, yes. Because, which... You know, that's just not true to, to how we feel at the moment. And you know, it's like, you know, it's like uh, the, the thing is a lot of people say, why doesn't it sound like a bunch of close to the edit? Mm. Well, it's, it's kind of not going to because that, that, that would be too obvious for us, you know. Mm, mm, so we like to say, you know, it, 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 it doesn't sound like the art noise, but, 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 but we're very much influenced by it. Yes, yeah. Spirit, you know. Well, that's the thing, and I think that's what uh, sort of messes with people in a, in a, in a pleasant way, mm. is, um, is that, you know, the expectation or just the, you know, the... Um, whether you know people have been um, you know have been fans for a long time, or whether they're embracing you know what you do for the first time, it's uh, um, I think that is one of the one of the great attractions of what you do. It's uh, um, you know everything you know. There's there's no there's no fixed formula to what you do. No, and also funny enough, when people go on about the, the, the banging and the beatboxes and the close to the edits, they're, mm. they're, they're of course forgetting the moments in love and, mm. and the later art of noise music. You mm. know, the, when, when, when the ambient side of it, the, 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 you know, the, the female side of it, if you like, the ambient mm. side of it, was, was much more, you know, um, apparent than the, than the, the boy is banging. You know, mm. the art noise has always had two sides to its personality. You know, a lot of banging and a, and a lot of, uh, of discretion. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, uh, Anne's been, uh, you know, I mean, she's obviously been doing a lot of soundtracks of the, you know, I, I think obviously between and during um, your last release. Mm. Um, Trevor Horn obviously doing his thing as well. What have you been up to? Well, I've been making a lot of television programs. Mm -hmm. I've been working with people like Brian Eno and New Order. Oh, and documentaries about them. Oh, stunning. And I've, I've made you know, other uh, television programs and uh, okay. I've been writing a lot. You know, uh, some magazines over here like a Reno and a Squire. That's stunning. Okay. Uh, and I'm working on a book at the moment. I mean, you know, like I said at the beginning of the interview, that is the great thing about yes. Art of Noise. They truly are a multimedia collection. Yes. In ways that you always thought that there would be more of them these days. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's a much more modern idea, you know. But I mean, I think even, as I say, with, uh, you know, with the seduction of Debussy, it's a case of um, you've released a CD um, of music. Um, there are nearly countless elements which you could attach to that around which which you could um, you know just extenuate the you know um, the whole concept of the album I mean the EPK um, yeah. you know is, is just one element mm. but um, you know there's there's so many branches that could uh, you know which which could come from that as well for you oh absolutely yeah mm. I mean you know you know the, 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 we have a website you know and that's something yes. that we didn't have last time True. it's very exciting because it really suits the group mm. Because in a way, the, the, you know, the music is, is at the heart of it and is at the centre of it, but mm. the music is a soundtrack for all sorts of things that through the website and our sleeves we can sort of indicate. Mm. You know, it's a soundtrack to, to your mood, it's a soundtrack to the times, it's mm. a soundtrack to your dreams. Mm. And, we, we, you know, with other multimedia possibilities, we can really emphasize that idea, you know. Mm. Mm. I mean, when you, when you look at the mediums that are available to you now compared to uh, when you were doing the like, close to the earth and things like that, is it, you know, is, is, it a, is it a fascinating time for you now to just to, to still be that group, to still be that collective, and and be a part of uh, of something that you musically preempted. 
Well, it's certainly in terms of the way that the technology advances, it's it's uh, the, by the very nature of the group because we can change with it. Yes. Uh, you know, it's 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 more and more exciting, and and the more things that come up along, like the web and like you know mm. studio advancements and and visual possibilities, mm. because the group have always sort of you know been hungry mm. for, for those kind of things and those kinds of ways of representing themselves. It just gets more and more exciting, and, mm. and the future gets more and more interesting because we were built on the basis of change, you know, and the future. So it gets more and more exciting, you know. Mm. Mm. So would would you say that this is the the I mean because I said there was there was a moment when I thought okay we, we're not going to see any more you know um, you know we hear anything more from the art and noise right. um, as a collective um, is this is this does, is this still the you know, is there room uh, you know that that you're comfortable enough together to still continue um, sort of beating around with ideas. Absolutely, you know, like I, like I say now, now we've come back together and uh, with, with all the possibilities. It's it, it, last time you always seem to be being hedged in or, or, or sort of stopped from, from, from unleashing your imagination. So at this time, we really feel that we, you know we can go all the way and that we can keep the ideas coming. And, and you know, even the Debussy project, as it goes along, will sort of turn into something else mm. in terms of the way we play it live and mm. in terms of the way the single starts to appear so you know it's almost like um, the, the Debussy album will be like a, a, a the planet and mm. then there'll be certain moons and, 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 and satellites that we can send orbiting around it you know mm. so it, you know even within this particular project we'll be able to do lots of different things and, mm. and in the ways that in the early days you know we would take a piece of music and then very gradually it would become another piece of music yes that kind of thing will be going on a, a, a lot during this sort of um, cycle of, of music, you know, and that's kind of, we, we always like that kind of thing, you know, the way that beatbox became close to the edit, yeah. and Moments in Love swept on to be about 70 minutes. And yeah. We find all that endlessly fascinating, you know, and uh, yeah. we seem to have more possibilities this time to do those things, you know. Right, and obviously your relationship with, uh, with uh, ZTT store, obviously, um, a happy one for you. Well, you know, our, the only relationship I have with ZTT now, even though I, I started it out with Trevor and Jill, is that I'm just, you know, with the art of noise. Um, I, I, you know, personally, I found that after a while that you, you, you tend to find yourself giving ideas to other groups and other people that really would rather do the art of noise. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So now we can keep them all for the art of noise. Wonderful. It's, it's much more so, it's selfish, but it's much more selfish. No, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, it certainly sounds like a... Um, you know, a, a fascinating time for you, and I, uh, I can't tell you how happy it makes me just knowing that um, that, that you are out there and that you are um, still very much that collective. Oh, that's great! But um, we're going to do our, our level best because um, with you going out on the road, I'm sure um, have you know how you, this is a territory that, as a collective, you haven't you haven't visited. It. Um, so hopefully, we can preempt something that would get your interest to the point that uh, we could maybe give you some inspiration to, um, I mean, as much as you have done it, you know, um, indirectly in the past, musically, but uh, to be good to actually get you down here. Oh, absolutely. Mm, one yeah, would be fabulous. Well, thank you, Paul. I appreciate your time, and it's been a, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.